guys, it's Deb here with Deb's Joyful Designs. I've had a lot of questions about, you know, how to make my signs, what kind of materials I use, what kind of tools I have, or machines. So I'm going to show you today just a little sneak peek of the process of how I make some of my signs. Um, so I start off, this is premium pine. I've already cut it down. You can get this at Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, places like that and you're going to cut it down to the size you want so I've already done that I've got my board cut and I'm going to show you guys how it looks when it is being cut out on my Shapoko machine which you guys can see is right behind me here so here's the Shapoko machine I've already secured my board using Gorilla Glue tape squares and I'm getting ready to zero out the machine you want to do this before every cut to tell the machine where you want it to start it always starts out in the home area at the back right of the work area, but I have set my file to start in the middle of my board, so I need to bring the router to that point. Once you've set zero, you can start your router and start your cut. And all right, about there. So I'm showing this in a time lapse mode because the actual cutting of this particular sign is about an hour and 15 minutes. And I figure nobody really wants to sit here for that long, so I'm going to speed it up for you. So to cut this sign, I'm using a 1 8 inch end mill bit in the router. You could do this with other bits, like you might use a quarter inch of a similar bit, but I find that the eighth inch is a little bit more precise, and it can fit into some of those smaller spaces a little bit better than a larger bit would be able to. Alright, now that the first pass is done, let's zoom in for a little bit closer look.
here's what it looks like. As you can see, it has a few imperfections, so I'll need to sand this down. Once I sand it down, I will stain it and either paint it in distress it or just leave it with a stain. And here's the final product. Hey guys, this was just an example of one of the kinds of signs I make. I make all kinds of signs, including custom signs like this one here. Make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more crafting tips and tricks. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know what your favorite crafting tools are. Thanks for watching Deb's Joyful Designs!